Hello, welcome to, why am I doing the two-hand wave? That's weird. Uh, hi, welcome to the, <laughs> I can't focus. Hey, welcome to fifth, uh, man. Welcome to flip, fit, flip, la, 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 la. see, I still mess up. I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Welcome to flip video number 15. We're gonna do some guess who challenge. Now here's how this works. You are going to uh, put down number one, and that is first period's problem. You're gonna solve the video after you pause the video. So, or solve the problem, oh my goodness. Solve the problem after you pause the video. The reason why I want you to do that is we're only doing five problems. And this is really good preparation for the test. On a test, you're not gonna have the luxury of just watching the answer. So this is a really good self check and a confidence builder for you. If you pause the video, solve it yourself, watch the video and see, did I get it right? Now, if you did not get it right, then obviously you're gonna make your corrections and fix it a little bit. But this can be a good like, hey, if you get all five of these correct, then you should be really confident when you have the test, which is next Thursday already. So um, that's kind of how I want you to treat this video. So as you're working through it, you're gonna practice by pausing, solve, watch. And then the kind of a fun little twist to this is next to the problem that you solve, I want you to write down which student you think it is from that class that's explaining it. And their words are gonna be sped up or slowed down when you're watching their video. So it's gonna be kind of tricky to try to figure out who that person is. The words are gonna be sped up or slowed down. When you're watching their video, it's gonna be kind of tricky to try to figure out who that person is. And then if you go five for five, I'll have some boxes in store for you on Friday. Okay, but please keep it a secret. Don't go around telling people who was in your class period. That's no fun for anybody. We're gonna try to see if we can get some of those classes to be stumped and, and it's a pretty fun challenge if you if you actually do it correctly. So good luck and um, uh, make sure you're trying on each, every single one of these. All right, so this is problem number one for first period. Go ahead and write it down, pause the video, try to solve it on your own first. Ladies and gentlemen. And then you do two x to the second power plus negative fifteen x to the second power, which is negative thirteen x to the second power. And then you do negative ten x y plus negative ten x y, which is negative twenty x y. And then you get negative 13 x to the second power plus negative 20 x all right so we're in second period here is the problem we have the opposite of 5x times the quantity 3 plus 4x minus 25 x squared plus 22x so go ahead and pause the video and try to solve it please Plus four x, plus negative twenty five x squared plus thirty two x. The first two negative five x times three and negative five x times four x. And what you do is five x times two plus negative five x times uh, four x, and then you drop everything down. Yeah. You get negative thirteen x plus uh, negative twenty x squared plus thirty two x. Uh, plus 32x. And then you do 15x plus, oh, no, you do 25x squared plus negative 25x squared, if you get negative 45x squared, then you get rid of the problem. And you do 15x plus 22x, and you get 7x plus negative 
45 x big rough on our answer. All right, so it's third period, and here's our problem for third period. Go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this. First, you have to add the opposite, and then you um distribute distribute uh. We're gonna distribute uh negative eight x to uh five x and no, this is five x and three y, and then you uh, multiply uh um, negative eight x and five x. You uh find like terms, and then uh add add them. And, and then, uh, you find the other like terms and add them. And then you get your answer, negative 33x plus, to the second power plus negative 14xy. All right, now we're in fourth period. Here's the problem for fourth period. Go ahead and pause the video, try to solve it, and then you can watch the answer. So start off with adding the opposite with the negative 3x, or sorry, minus 3x, and the minus negative 15x squared. And then you do distributive property. And then like put everything back down and the rest of the sentence thing. Um, and then take the negative 6x squared plus 15x squared because they are like terms except for the negative. And then add those, 9x squared plus 15x squared. And then multiply the negative with the negative 10x and 8x. Negative 2x plus 9x squared. Nice job. All right, we're in fifth period now, and here's our problem for fifth period. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve it, please. Negative six x times neg three x is negative eighteen x squared, and negative six x times four x squared is negative twenty four x cubed, and we brought everything else down. Okay, so thanks for watching the flip video this week. Next week is test week. So now we're kind of in that review phase. We're just practicing, practicing, practicing here before the tests. So just take this seriously and you're going to do really well. I have, I have full confidence in every single one of you.